Today I've got an exciting show for you. We're going to do Asian style beef ribs. And what I've done, if you look down here, I've taken a complete whole rack of beef ribs and I've cut them down the middle, basically so they'll fit in the pressure cooker. I will end up cutting them about here and here, so we'll end up with four pieces to put in the pressure cooker. But the first thing I'm going to do is unwrap them. In just a second, I'm going to show you the ingredients for the entire process of pressure cooking beef ribs Asian style. And you can see as my daughter is pulling off the silver membrane on the inside of each of these rack of ribs, you need to do this too because that membrane is going to separate the dry rub from the meat. So on each one of these, you'll need to pull off the silver membrane. These are the ingredients that I'm going to put in the pressure cooker and pour over the ribs to cook under high pressure for about 30 minutes. So, it's going to be Honey. It's going to be a lot of honey. Three quarters of a cup of honey. It's going to be soy sauce. And so far as soy sauce is concerned, about a cup and a half of soy sauce. Pure sesame oil. About four tablespoons of pure sesame oil. And of course we have about eight, six to eight tablespoons of rice vinegar tablespoon of Chinese fried spice. The hoisin sauce we're going to put in after it's cooked. Next to that you'll see ginger. This is fresh ginger root that I cut up very finely and in order to preserve it I put it in vodka because vodka will not alter the taste. So the fresh ginger we're going to put in about four teaspoons of fresh ginger, four teaspoons of minced garlic, the Mongolian fire oil we're going to put in two tablespoons of that and about four tablespoons of sriracha. We want to get it to go kapow. So all of that is going together. I'm starting to mix it together. I haven't finished quite yet. And then when I get it all mixed up together, it's going to be pasted on top of the ribs as they go into the slow cooker and then poured in whatever we have left right on top of the ribs. So my sous chef, Princess Casarina D, a Bahamian princess so named when she was just three years old has removed this silver membrane and the rack, each rack cut in half so now we have eight half racks of beef ribs I'm going to baste them with a sauce as they go into the pressure cooker just to get them moist enough with the sauce the honey is going to help hold the herbs against the meat and then once they're in I'm going to stack them vertically and pour the rest of the sauce over them, close up the cooker, and set it for 30 minutes. And so now I'm getting ready to put them in the pressure cooker and I'll show you the process. I'm gonna take a rack. I wanna keep this stirring so that the herbs are suspended in the honey and soy mix. And then we'll take one of these racks and we'll put it over here above the pressure cooker start basting. Of course I just want to get all the surfaces moist before they start to stack in here. And as you can see they're getting nice and covered. And then I'll start to stack them vertically with the large side down. They'll be hard to stack initially but I'll get it all full of them and then when I get all of them basted and in I'll pour the rest of the sauce over top. I'm going to get these all stacked up when they're in and they can hold each other up. Go 
going to fall down until I get them all full. So the ribs are all coated and fully basted. They're upright in the pressure cooker. And now with all that wonderful sauce that we have left over, we're gonna pour them over the ribs into the bottom of the pressure cooker. And when it goes on high pressure, it's gonna force these juices and all the seasonings and all that beautiful garlic and ginger into the ribs. So, now I'm going to take the top. I'm gonna to lock it in place. We should hear a sound saying it's locked. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna hit manual and adjust it for 30 minutes. It's gonna take a while to build up the pressure when it builds up, and by the way, this valve on the back. I want to be sure this is on ceiling. Now it's on ceiling. When it comes up to the pressure, this little red knob will pop up and then it will start counting down from 30 minutes. Right now, the front display says on. When it switches to 30, it'll start cooking. All right, so now it says it's done. I'm going to come in here and cut it off. It's off. I'm putting on a glove, of glove, because I'm going to use the quick release. It's going to steam, so I have it pulled away from the counter so it won't take the paint off. Once it's totally released, the little red knob I showed you earlier is going to drop down, and then we will unlock it, pull the ribs out, and put them on a rack. So, this is the quick release. That meat is fall off the bone tender. Definitely it's not finished yet. We're gonna put the meat on a rack. We're gonna take the juices out of the pressure cooker and we're gonna put them on the stove and reduce them. Now the reason why I'm not gonna reduce the juices in the pressure cooker itself, because I wanna get, go ahead and cook the rice in the pressure cooker, because it also has a rice uh, mode on it. So I'm gonna put the beef on a rack and let it rest I'm going to empty the juices into a pot on the stove to start reducing it. And then I'm going to rinse this out with a little cold water. And then I'll put equal parts of rice with water, a little butter and a little salt. Hit the rice button and we should have rice with ribs. While the sauce is reducing and the ribs are resting, I'm going to put four and a half cups of rice, four and a half cups of water into the instant pot and on the instant pot I'll push this button that says rice so now the sauce has reduced it's a lot thicker and I added four heaping tablespoons of hoisin sauce to give it that rich robust sweet flavor it's already fall off the bone tender and the oven is preheating to broil. And we'll take it inside the oven and caramelize this on the ribs. And by the time we take it out of the oven, the rice should be done. Take a look at that. The rice is ready. 
I'm going to release the pressure and it'll be done. And it'll be time to take a few minutes to re release the pressure. We're going to plate the uh, beef ribs and we'll be ready to eat. Bon appetit. By the way, I want to take this opportunity to point out, if you haven't already gotten a copy of my novel, The Lost Road of the Ancients, now would be a good opportunity to go online at Amazon.com slash books. And when you go to the search bar, you got to put in the entire title, The Lost Road of the Ancients. That's product placement.